I'm Charmaine Green and I'm one of the artists. Um, well, actually, I've got multiple roles with Yamaji Arts, so one of the directors, but for this particular project, I was one of the artists, working with Barbara Merritt and two younger artists. The artwork that we um, produced, the team of four, was based around the themes of connectiveness and harmony within the community. So the design and the image that we end up um, working out to go with, because it was quite an organic process on what the image would, how it would look and what, what it would re represent. We um, looked at linking people together and how people, if they're holding hands or um, holding each other up and supporting each other in the community to connect, so everyone connects in some way and also um, to create kind of a sense of harmony when you're working together. Even though it can be complex when you're working with other people, at the end of the tunnel the, it can have that um, sense of harmony on, on achieving something. Well, we thought this artwork was... Um, we wanted to combine the elements of health and art because the two go really well together when you're looking at um, emotional and social well-being and also mental health um, and that's one of the reasons the group wanted to do the paintings and our group of four in particular. So the concepts were the concepts for each of the artworks was designed by the manager at Yamaji Arts um, after speaking with the West Australian Centre for Rural Health and working through the different themes and what they mean and how they how we can um, connect different themes to health and how we feel and how we feel about ourselves and some of the issues around our well-being that make us feel good about ourselves. Um, so that's kind of how the concepts emerged and that's how we worked and talked as groups. It was a little bit difficult for some of the groups or for our group in working together and connecting you know at the first because people work on their own but that working together and then working through the whole process especially if you've got different artists who, who do different styles and have different ideas on how to conceptualize a theme so that was quite an interesting process that brought us all together at the end where we just moved along and got the job done we have um, images of people holding so you like to have the ancestors down the bottom um, holding up the next generations and it's also the different communities connecting with each other and that's represented through this image of a person holding because in our culture we also talk about how our culture holds us and that's exactly the same concept that we've got in this painting of holding us like we're holding each other as peoples and in the community so I thought that was a really nice concept um, also the colours were connected to, not only to WACRA, but connected to different things, um, different parts of our body and our blood that gives us strength. Um, we've got a very subtle love heart in the middle of the painting, which is really nice in between where the two images are holding, um, there's images on each side, and there's this very subtle love heart that if you don't know it's there, you probably miss it. But it's really, it's just a nice touch on that harmony and love and peace and that sort of thing. I think, you know, the it really does portray what happens in a community if you're in, um, if you're dysfunctional or not connecting. And the painting kind of showed that in a way where groups of people come together and even though we've got a familiarity with family and being part of this cohort here, um, groups of people four people coming together who not necessarily on the same level and the same level of thinking to start off with or have the same obligations. So all of those things was a challenge to get people to the paint table and to get people to think of, is this design acceptable? You know, going with a consensus that this is how we'll move forward. The colours, we had to kind of go using the WACRA colours so, and then we had a choice of a couple of color, colors ourselves so um, that was a little bit difficult in moving in with colors when you just want to use your own color um, one of our artists is she's a queen of color so she you know she wanted splashes of bold color everywhere and it was like no these are the these are the 
<laughs> these are the little buckets here. This is what we use. So it was a bit of a challenge. There's some tensions around the how do you mentor the young people into that process. So a whole lot of those things. But I think it was quite a drawn-out process, probably longer than we'd anticipated. But a lot of things got in the way with Christmas, with deaths, um, people being away, people being tired from other things. And these are real things that happen in the community. And this happened with this painting as well. So it's impacted in and impacted in um, one of the challenges that came about. But at the end of the day, you'll see a beautiful piece and people won't necessarily know all of the other things that went into it to get it to that. So the headaches, the laughters, the tensions, the challenges, um, just moving it forward. Hi, I'm Nicole Dickerson and I'm an artist at Yamaji Art. Well, I've never done a like group painting before, so it was a good experience to paint with other artists. Um, so it's pretty much about health and well-being and exercise and eating the right foods and stuff. Well, in the centre there's like a large water hole as well. And also to the bottom it's like all the bush stucker and you can see through the painting like the rain's falling down and then starting your growth and so it was a good experience because there were different artists with different styles so it was hard to try and come up with a design to fit together using the different designs and styles of the artists.